The Pope appoints a new bishop for Vermont's statewide diocese. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. Stephanie's off tonight. In an earlier life, Auxiliary Bishop Christopher Coyne took confession as a bartender. But the 56-year-old native of Massachusetts would later be called to the priesthood and will now take stewardship of Vermont's largest religion. WPTZ's Vanessa Mashanya is live in South Burlington tonight with the new story. Hey, George, we're outside of the diocese here in South Burlington where the announcement happened earlier this morning. Now, Coyne, like you said, is coming to us from the Midwest, but was born, went to college, even bartended in Massachusetts. So he's very excited to be back home in New England. And the clergy here in Vermont is very excited to have them because they hope that he represents a new beginning. For the Vermont Catholic Diocese, their Christmas gift came a little early. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the 10th Bishop of Burlington, Bishop uh, Christopher Coyne. Nearly a year after Bishop Salvatore Montano was reassigned and left his eight-year run as leader, Pope Francis named Most Reverend Christopher Coyne as Vermont's new bishop. I could not have wished for a better assignment. This is a homecoming of sorts. Born outside of Boston, the New England native is coming to the Green Mountains from Indianapolis, where he served as auxiliary bishop since 2011. On coming to them, I was what I remain today, a Bostonian with a funny accent and a strange devotion to Dunkin' Donuts and the New England Patriots. <laughs> Along with a few jokes, Coyne addressed the challenges of the diocese, both in the past, like the 2005 sexual abuse scandal. I'm ready to help and listen to any victim of the church or their family. And the present, figuring out new ways to keep followers when the state is considered the most agnostic in the nation. We're just going to blossom as a Catholic church, and we're just going to see all kinds of numbers grow up, and I don't see why not. I think we have an excellent opportunity in this state. Bishop Coyne is not only bringing a new face to the diocese, he's also bringing along about 10,000 followers on Twitter. Coyne says that social media has become a great tool not only to connect with younger Catholics, but to spread the message of the faith further. Not only does he tweet, but he runs a successful blog, a podcast, even has his own Wikipedia page. Those are, those are one more way of, of communicating the good news of the Catholic Church. Come with a message of hope, come with a message of the gospel, and hopefully connect with them and draw them in. Hope for the church and the diocese to look forward to new beginnings. Now, this was only an introduction today, and the real installment, which is called a solemn mass of installation, will take place January 29th at 2 p.m. And in attendance to that will be the Pope's ambassador to the United States, as well as fellow Bostonian Cardinal Sean O'Malley. Live in South Burlington, Vanessa Bishanya, WPTZ, News Channel 5. Thanks, Vanessa. And here now is a closer look at the man taking over Vermont's Catholic Church. Bishop Coyne was the middle of seven children born to a postal worker and parish secretary in Woburn, Massachusetts. And as we mentioned, he started out as a full-time bartender after graduating from the University of Lowell. The bishop attended seminary for five years and was ordained a priest in Boston on June 7, 1986. He also received a doctorate in sacred liturgy in Rome in 1994. Most recently, Bishop Coyne was elected as the next chairman of the National Church's communications efforts, and he begins that three-year stint in 2015.